My name is Ms. Watson and I'm going to show you the basics of how to use NoteFlight. If you've never used NoteFlight before, it's a web-based tool where you can uh, create, view, print, and hear quality music notation. Now this is great for teachers, students, and anyone interested in composing. And you can use it for free or you can get a premium membership that you purchase online and you have a lot more options using that. When you sign in, you're going to click Create to open up a new score. Then you pick what you want your score to be for. For instance, if you click Piano, it will give you a treble and a bass clef. I'm just going to use treble clef for the purpose of this tutorial, so I'm going to double click and delete the bass clef line. At the top, there are all these palettes, as NoteFlight calls them and you can change which palettes you see by clicking on the menu button over here. And right now we can see duration, te pitch, tempo, text, measure, um, and articulation, anywhere there's a check mark. If you don't want to see it, you can click it and it'll disappear from the top. If you want um, to add any of these other ones, you can always click it and it'll add that. For instance, I'll click dynamics and you can see it added it just up here. To add in notes, all you need to do is to put your cursor over the staff and click on the line or space you want it to be on. If you want your note to be longer or shorter, you can use the square bracket keys to adjust the length of the note. Alright, so I'm going to put in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and because I already have an eighth note chosen, it's going to make the rest of my notes eighth notes until I choose to um, change that rhythm. So here I need to change it to a quarter note, and I'm just going to hit my square bracket key. There we go. And if you make a mistake putting in a note, it's not a big deal. Um, you, you can use your arrow keys to fix that. If you hit the up arrow key, your note goes up. And if you hit the down arrow key, the pitch will go down. And if you also wanted to use or add in a chord, you can just stack the notes on top of each other. But for this piece, we don't really need it. If you look at the menu, you can see all sorts of keyboard shortcuts to learn and use. For instance, if you wanted to maybe add a slur, I would go to articulation. See that for the slur, all I need to do is press the letter S. So I'm going to click my last note here, click S, and there's the slur. Though for this I don't need it, so I'm just going to undo that by hitting Command Z. To hear your composition, you can either click the playhead on the top left of the screen, or you can click your measure, and there will be a playhead up there that you can click, or if you wanted to start maybe on your second measure or somewhere in the middle of the piece, you can click on that playhead as well. If you want your measure to repeat, you don't have to add in every note again. You can just highlight that measure and copy and paste it into the next measure. If you wanted to add lyrics, you can click on the note, hit Command L, and start typing. This program is really user-friendly and intuitive. Anything you need to use can be found on the menu button to the left of the score. You just have to play around and familiarize yourself with it a bit. That's really the best way to learn. I hope that helped you begin to understand how to use NoteFlight. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more great content. Happy composing!